despite everything, despite all the chaos, um, we've managed to all be here today for this beautiful ceremony. And thank you guys for coming. Hello, everyone. I'm Mark. Let's get to the fun part. And the reason we're all here. Dakota, ever since the day that I told you I was falling in love with you on the rooftop in Havana, I knew this was something special. It's been a wild ride so far, but I wouldn't have it any other way. This crazy year of 2020 has been no exception, and the good Lord knows that these challenges will not be our last. But what I do know is through all of this, our love has never wavered. It's grown and will continue to grow every single day. Your bold sense of humor, whether it's appropriate or not, always, <laughs> always seems to make me laugh. I know it's corny to say, but it's true. Just seeing your face makes my day. Thank you for being my handyman, my own personal comedian, the person I can count on to always have my back. Thank you for being the man I dreamed about and prayed for. Thank you for choosing me and making me feel loved every single day. So on this special day, surrounded by our family and friends, both here in person and in spirit, I am with all that I am, I make these promises. I promise to be honest, kind, and patient with you. I promise to understand and forgive with an open heart. I promise to be fair and compromise. I promise to listen and learn with you. I promise to be present so we can share many lasting memories. I promise to not stand in front of you or behind you, but by your side. I promise my loyalty to you and our family. I promise to celebrate your hard work and achievements while also keeping you humble. I promise to always treat you with respect and honor. I promise to support and encourage you in any crazy wild dream you want to pursue. I promise to continue to grow and deepen our relationship with each other and with God. And I promise I will love you unconditionally as the person you are today and the person that you become. Dakota. I promise all of these things because you're not just the person that I want to live with the rest of my life. You're the person that I cannot live without. I love you most. You're the best person in the world, Emily. A lot of people always say that they uh, found the best girl, but they're liars because I have the best girl. We didn't do anything really orthodox. I told you I loved you way too soon. Um, I probably would have married you on that rooftop in Havana. And we'd only been dating for a couple weeks. Whew. I love everything about you. You're the strongest person I know, physically and mentally. <laughs> Every day I wake up, I want to do better because of you. Every time I look in the mirror, I think about you. And I want everything just for us. And I want the big house with the white picket fence and the dog. We can even paint it green and gold for the Packers. <laughs> I want all or nothing just as long as I have you. I love you. By the power vested in me by the state of North Carolina, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Give you Mr. and Mrs. Benson. Marriage is a commitment to life, the best that two people can find and bring out each other. It offers opportunities for sharing and growth that no other relationship can equal. 
It is a physical and an emotional joining that is promised for a lifetime. Within the circle of its love, marriage encompasses all of life's most important relationships. A wife and a husband are each other's best friends, confidants, lovers, teachers, listeners, and of course, they're each other's biggest critics. And during a marriage, there may come times when one partner is heartbroken or ailing, and the love of the other may resemble the tender caring of a parent for a child. Marriage deepens and enriches every facet of life. Happiness tends to be fuller, memories are always fresher, the commitment is stronger, and even sometimes anger is felt more strongly, but that tends to pass away more quickly. Marriage understands and forgives the mistakes life is unable to avoid. It encourages and nurtures new life, new experiences, and new ways of expressing a love that is deeper than life. When two people pledge their love and care for each other in marriage, they create a spirit unique unto themselves, which binds them closer than any spoken or written words. Marriage is a promise of potential made in the hearts of two people who love each other and it takes a lifetime to fulfill. Marriage is a commitment to life, the best that two people can find and bring out each other. It offers opportunities for sharing and growth that no other relationship can equal. It is a physical and emotional joining that is promised for a lifetime. Within the circle of its love, marriage encompasses all of life's most important relationships. A wife and a husband are each other's best friend, confidants, lovers, teachers, listeners, Goddamn, the biggest critics. <laughs> and there are many, and there are, and there may come times when one one partner is heartbroken or ailing, and the love of the other may resemble the tender caring of a parent for a child. Marriage deepens and enriches every facet of each other's life. Happiness is fuller, memories are fresher, commitment is stronger, even anger is felt more strongly, and but it passes away more quickly. Marriage understands and forgives the mistakes life is unable to avoid. It encourages and nurtures new life, new experiences, and new ways of expressing a love that is deeper than life. When two people pledge their love and care for each other in marriage, they create a spirit unique unto themselves, which binds them closer than any spoken or written words ever could. Marriage is a, marriage is a promise, a potential made in the hearts of two people who love each other, and it takes a lifetime to fulfill that promise. Thank you, Luke.